Testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Oh, let me cut this down, let me cut this down. All right, all right. Excuse my garage. Well, I just got through pulling my heads, head, on my N20 BMW. I got three of them. Hopefully I don't have to do nothing to this one. This one's a beast. So, as I was taking off everything, I discovered something interesting. All over YouTube and all over forums, even at the dealership, they say these N20 engines are interference engine. And just recently, I um, saw a person on YouTube said that they're what were not um, interference engine. And, and I looked at my engine through a boroscope but for some odd reason, the boroscope that I had couldn't see the indention. So after taking everything apart, I see that I have those indentions to keep the head from slamming into the pistons. So um, by me not knowing that, I went ahead and took everything off and took everything apart because the dealership told me that I had um, an uh, issue with cylinders two and three, I guess due to uh, the timing chain slipping gear and the car was running like crap. So after dealing with them and dealing with other mechanics, I decided to go ahead and do this myself. And I got two N20 engines. Hopefully, you know, this is the last issue. But as I was looking at it very close, um, I got my intake valves out on this one. And if you can look at it from this angle, they really don't go out that far. I don't have a measurement to actually see how far they come out. But as you can tell, they don't come out that far. So hence, that's the reason why I say that they are not, uh, that they are, yes, they are not interference engines due to the inventions on the heads. Now, what I did find on cylinders two and three, which is, let me come back, which is this one, and this one was a bunch of crud around the uh, valve stems, which I just got through cleaning that off. And I kinda, oh shoot, I can't, I kinda, I can't rotate it now. But I kinda rotated the stems a little bit and really didn't see anything bad but a bunch of corrosion. And like I said, I, I mean, this was really, really bad. I should have took a video beforehand, but this is my very first video on this issue because I thought I'll let other folks know as well. I'll send the link, uh, I'll try to find the link of the guy that has the issues the same as mine where he um, took everything apart and discovered that these are not interference engines. So hopefully this will help somebody else because I got a lot of parts to put back together. And um, like I said, hope this helps somebody out. I did uh, look at Mr. Car Ready. I was talking with him and got a few specs. And also there's a few screws that he didn't mention on here that I kind of put on my little cheat sheet. It's like, um, I think he only listed one through 10, which is actually one through 15. That's my little invention of the part right there. That little piece right there. Put a little light on it. Got it upside down, but yeah, that's where the other screws are. So, like I say, hope this helps someone else else out. And um, 
You don't have to go through the whole thing. And maybe if you do, it's just a matter of cleaning off your heads. Of course, you have to clean it off real good. And I don't really think if you have any bent valves, you can you don't have to take it to a hair shop. You can just clean it off and make sure everything is nice and clean and put it back on and torque it down for specs. And you'll be good to go. Alrighty, well, let me put this thing back together. Hope that helps. Alright, bye.